Today we'll be setting up the last part of our restaurant, which is the actual restaurant menu. The menu items will come from your restaurant selection that you created at the beginning of this project. We're going to create a menu that is set up in three columns that folds together, sort of like a pamphlet. Out on Google Classroom, I have a couple of examples of how those look. There'll be an inside and an outside to the menu, and it'll be done on two separate pages. Interestingly enough, when you set up your booklet, the front of the menu will be on the far right-hand side of the first page and the back of it will be in the middle. You can see what this looks like on the inside and you can take a look at those two examples to get an idea of what it's going to look like for you. We'll be creating this in two parts. The first part will lay out the first page and the second part will lay out the second page. So here we are in InDesign to get started. We will begin with Create New. Because we are setting our menu up to be sideways, when we go to print and choose letter, we want to set up the orientation over here to be landscape. So basically turning the page sideways and click on create. We'll set up both documents, or excuse me, both pages within the same document, but we'll only be working on the first page today. Before we start doing any editing, let's set up some columns under Layout, Margins, and Columns. In here, we tell it that we want three columns. Before we do that, let's set our rulers to be inches so we're not dealing with pikas as we set this up. Let's go back to Layout, Margins, and Columns. In here, we can set the number of columns to be three. And you notice when we do that, it shows us the columns. Now, it also asks us our gutter. And the gutter is the amount of space that is between the columns. And what we want is when we fold this up, we want the same amount on each column. You can see right now that if I was to fold this up on these columns that have been set up right now, that I only have a small amount of space here. I want this to be even. So to make that even, I need to make sure that whatever I put on my outside margin, I match that on the inside. But because I have a column here, I'm going to have twice that amount. So I'm going to set my gutter to be one inch. And what that will do is give me equal columns for each of my three columns as it's being folded. So you can see what that looks like. The first step for me is to lay this out with my cover of my menu. And as you saw in the example, that cover front cover is going to be on the far right-hand column. So the first thing you want to do is file place in your logo. You can use the Illustrator version and bring that in. Control Shift, scale that down. You want that to fit inside of that first column. From here, you can start adding in the text. I want to have the word menu in here and I'll press my caps lock key to make that all caps control a to select all of that let's make our font quite a bit bigger I think let's try 72 probably a little big that looks good and I'm gonna match the font that I used in my title here which was an Arial black let's bring that font down until I can see what I want here that looks good and I like having it be about the same width to match up my alignment uh, as my logo 
I will copy and paste that and bring that over to my events. And here's where you're going to start setting up the repetition of your menu items. For me, I want my headings all to be about the same. And I know that a lot of my headings are going to be bigger than the word menu. So while I want that to be Arial Black, I'm going to type it in mix case and bring that down to a smaller point size. That looks good to me there. I'll be repeating that throughout my menu as I go along. So now I can add into here another text box that will list out the events that I'm going to have. So let's say I have an event that's going to be Fancy Friday. And again, you want to set this up. I'm going to use Arial here. Use the fonts that you've chose. And I'm going to use regular in here. And maybe just choose that to be bold. I'm not going to type all of these items in, but as you see, you can start putting in your different events that are in here and the details that will be in here. I will use regular for here. So you can start putting the details here of your events. You need to have three or four events that you list here. Don't be afraid to use copy and paste. So once I've set that up, I can potentially reuse a lot of these items as I come along here. So using my repetition, I can include that on there. So I say Monday through Thursday. And we're open from 4 to 10 p.m. Friday through Saturday. So I can put on my hours, I can add my contact information. I can also add in a graphic element on here so you're building the outside of your menu and that will get you started. Complete the outside of the menu and we'll repeat a lot of those elements when we do the inside the next day.